In ServiceMate 4.0, we have simplified menu structures, making it much easier to navigate and find what you're looking for. In this video, we'll cover the basics of what was changed from ServiceMate 3.0 to help you hit the ground running. Let's start on the New Jobs tab. Switch between Calendar, Map, and Lists by tapping the top control. Search is now located at the top of the job list. To create a new job, invoice, or quote, tap the plus icon at the top right hand corner of the screen. To change the job you are viewing to a staff member's schedule, job filter, or queue, tap the filter icon and select the list you want to access. Remember that you can only view schedules on the calendar view. Job filters and queues will not show any jobs. The new map is great for viewing jobs around you. Combined with custom job filters or queues, this map view could become a powerful part of your workflow. Tap a job on this list once and it zooms into that job. Tap it again to open the job. This is the new job card. In this view, you have all the information you need to complete the job. The client details and job address are at the top of the job card. The contact numbers of your primary contact are also at the top. You can simply tap the number to call the client. On the iPad, the map is also at the top. To view the map on iPhone, tap the top of the job card and tap View Map. This menu is also how you view the client and edit the job address. Job actions are now available through the plus icon at the top right hand of the screen. All bookings for the job are now visible at the bottom of the job card. To schedule or allocate a job, simply tap Add Booking. Or you can edit existing booking by tapping that booking. Job status, category, and purchase order number are available at the bottom of the card under Job Details. To check into a job, you now hit Start Job, and you'll be asked if you'd like to navigate to the job or skip navigation. In iOS 9, you can jump back to ServiceMate by tapping the Back to ServiceMate button up the very top left hand of the screen. Let's take a quick look into Billing. Work Completed is now located at the top of Billing. When you tap Add Item slash Service, ServiceMate Smart List is now Suggested Items, where ServiceMate will suggest items based on the customer, the time of day, and how often the item is used. You can view your full inventory by hitting Browse or by searching. You can now also save searches that you frequently use. To save a search, simply type out what you want to search for and then tap Save Search. Smart Labor has now moved to inside adding a material. To produce a quote or invoice, tap the quote and invoice buttons at the bottom of the billing page. You can then send the document by hitting the send button at the top right hand side. The final change to the job card in ServiceMate 4.0 is the checkout wizard. It was counterintuitive to jump into sending an invoice or a quote that you may not have had a chance to review. When you tap checkout now, ServiceMate will produce a copy of the document for you to review and potentially collect a customer signature. Once happy, tap the send icon and select the method you want to issue the document. Clocking on and off and going on and off lunch break is now available through the activity feed by tapping the My Shift button. Let's take a quick look at invoicing. The new invoicing area is much simpler and easy to use. You can review the job by tapping an invoice line and then view job. To approve an invoice or send it to your accounting package, tap the invoice line and then tap Approve Invoice. An invoice sent indicator on the left shows you which invoices have and haven't been sent to the client. Finally, the client area has now been simplified to a single view as well. Job history and client diary are available at the base of the client card, and you can edit any of the fields simply by tapping them. And that's it.